and uh, interestingly that is what we're going to be talking about right now and that is telecom and India ratings has come out with a new assessment of what they think the Reliance Geo intervention is going to do in this to, uh, in disrupting that entire telecom space. Tanu Sharma, Associate Director, Corporates at India Ratings and Research, joins me. Um, what, is your, what are your key founding, uh, findings, Ms. Sharma? Uh, yeah, hi. So, uh, uh, the Reliance Geo launch, as per our uh, analysis, is, uh, is it disruptive in terms of its pricing because it uh, not just is highly competitive, but it also challenges the current tariff structures. Uh, as of now, which were uh, mostly voice centric and voice based, and uh, which were uh, the legacy networks of the existing operators were not ab uh, capable of handling, uh, you know, the data traffic, and because of bandwidth issues, they are not able to uh, provide that kind of unlimited data. So, we see that uh, you know the the uh, the tariff structures itself will go undergo a change because of this bundling of free SMS. Uh, and other value added services coupled with free voice uh, which is which is 60 to 70 percent 70 percent of the core revenues of existing operators as of now so that is one thing which is very clearly out there and uh, on the other hand uh, if you look at the other background so 4g uh, adoption will accelerate so the data subscribers for 4g will uh, will increase uh, significantly it will also help in the rural penetration because of uh, the you know attractive uh, tariffs, the uh, the low handset pricing, and uh, and the the quality of services and the pan India kind of reach which it has already set up. So at the such low price point, starting with 149 uh, uh, on almost comparable with other players, mm -hmm. which is off also offering the free data services. So this will lead to penetration in terms of. Uh, 4G adoption very quickly and other players will have to catch up so they need to continuously invest in that kind of uh, spectrum acquisition as well as the network rollout uh, uh, in order to be relevant in the market. Mm -hmm. So this will eventually lead to a lot of pressure on the bidder margins of existing players. This mm -hmm. will lead to a market share redistribution and uh, this will lead to a lot of pressure on the credit metrics of the uh, existing players because uh, on one hand the debt will increase and on the other hand the bidder will be under pressure. So that's what I wanted to come to for an organization like you. You obviously look at the financing options that a company would have. The idea we understand is planning to raise money. I'm assuming that to a certain extent Bharti will also have to do some of that because they'll all have to invest in the infrastructure. Um, how would you look at idea, especially its uh, debt, the kind of debt it has, how it's going to finance that debt? What are you looking at? Uh, so, if you look at specifically at IDEA, they are at 3.3x uh, of net debt to EBITDA, which is the highest financial leverage over the course of last five years. Mm. And uh, if you look at their positioning, they are a little less prepared to handle the RGO competition because they just have a presence across 10 circles. Mm. Also, their 4G spectrum airwaves, uh, they, are, they are a little weaker as compared to you know, Bharti, which is very well positioned in terms of a spectrum uh, holding. So, idea what we believe will have to invest uh, and will have to aggressively look at particularly two bands, the 1800 megahertz and the 2300 megahertz, which are data centric bands. Mm. So, it will have to kind of uh, look at aggressively uh, acquiring airwaves in those to stay relevant in the market. And at the same time, since the leverage is slightly on the higher side, uh, not very aggressive, but then yes, uh, because of the continuous increase in its capex commitments, uh, this will go up further. So, the next two years, we expect that to remain stretched. But however, it will be a necessity for them to, to continue to invest. And their strategy could be then centric on the, uh, their, uh, their prominent circles. Mm -hmm. So, they may not look at uh, expanding 4G across all these uh, and on, not going for a pan-India, but rather to strengthen their presence in their uh, prominent circles and come up with you know, data uh, tariff revision across those or strengthening their presence uh, to maintain their market share. So, would rating agencies like you uh, it, it tend to downgrade IDEA's uh, credit rating? Uh, so, per se, India ratings that does not currently rate uh, IDEA. But yeah, generally, uh, the credit metrics would be under pressure. So, now this will depend upon whether the existing ratings already factor in that kind of uh, increase in the debt levels, whether they were envisaged. And to my uh, understanding, it will not be fully envisaged to that extent because the, the, dis the, the, the disruption in pricing was also not uh, 
anticipated in the same way maybe it is higher than what was anticipated and uh, similarly there could be a revision in the spectrum acquisition strategy as well so one has to wait and watch for what is the spectrum acquisition strategy and what kind of increase would they see in the debt levels but definitely ratings would be under a pressure so would the smaller players that are around would they basically fall off the map would they have to sell off will there be consolidation yes absolutely so industry consolidation will also accelerate this is another uh, kick off in the consolidation which which is a story which we have already been talking about since the last few years so uh, the weaker players will will not be able to compete with this kind of a pricing now nor do they have the resources uh, so on one hand they have the options to kind of monetize their spectrum which has been enabled by the uh, spectrum trading uh, norms which had already come in place so i or they would have to get acquired i mean they would have to look for a, you know sell out and they would actually uh, there will be a very and in industry consolidation will consolidate will uh, will accelerate uh, with this launch and there will be maybe five to six players which will emerge uh, and the smaller players will get absorbed they will not be able to compete so you know a couple of years ago some of the existing telecom players and they were facing competition from the vibers and uh, skype and audio calls which are data based and uh, they wanted to charge separately for those kind of calls and of course that didn't happen ultimately net neutrality came into play but now we're seeing that a, a player is coming in and saying we are going to do that and we are actually going to make it free so you don't even have to bother about it the real call will now be data is voice going to end altogether voice as a separate, separate thing over the next one or two years right yeah you're right so there will be a transition the cannibalization from uh, of data from voice i mean voice getting cannibalized and moving on we all moving on to data as the some of the developed economies have already moved to so that is inevitable but uh, i think the pace of that will accelerate so some time back we were thinking that of as a far fledged concept because still voice revenues form about 75% of the revenues of the industry i think the shift will will accelerate uh in the medium term uh this this kind of a switch will happen so uh but we don't see that happening immediately but uh, yes this will accelerate because of the rgo all right uh, thank you so much for joining us tanu sharma pleasure talking to you um atanu sharma there from india ratings talking about the impact of rgo on india's telecom companies existing telecom companies we're going to take a short break and after that our shri shank 